Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3. When we left off last time, we had to fight a bunch of whole, whole bunch of guys, um, cleared the way for Eva to escape, tangled with us a lot again. I'm a little concerned for her. Um, she's worried now. She what she was gonna take it, she was gonna take Ocelot right down, and instead Snake was like, No, leave him alone, he's young. And then she made she tossed out the comment that, well, I have to get back before him. Yeah, the the jig could be up. Ocelot now possibly has reason to be suspicious of her, so maybe Snake should have let him take her out, take him, let her take him out. But I can't really complain. I like Ocelot. So time for us to move on. But um there was some kind of weird issue with my save file, so I had to replay some of this. And I spotted a Karotan, which isn't that important. I'm not going to collect them all. Um, you guys have said that actually I can't at this point. I've already missed some. And that, if I understand correctly, I can't even do it all in one playthrough anyhow. But I may as well get the one that I saw, if I can remember where I saw him. There he is. Okay, so I'm supposed to shoot this poor little guy? Let's do it. Hey, Karotan. Is there a way for me to, like, grab it, or is that all I wanted to do with it? I, I guess that must be it. So what, if, if I'd shot him while I was sneaking through, the sound would have distracted some of those guys? I actually really, really liked this battle. It took me a bit to get into the swing of it. First off, it took me a bit to figure out I needed to kill them. Um, I had it in my head that this is a sneaking mission, so the goal wouldn't be possibly to take out my enemies. I just need to sneak around them, right? No, it was to kill them all one by one, and that was actually really fun. I, I kind of hope we come up against more of that, actually. Um, I did go through when I uh, replayed it. Because of my save issue, it actually went much quicker. <laughs> so in future, I, I feel like that was a really good learning experience in a lot of ways for me about... How to maybe do better at the game. I liked that before that I was afraid to really move around much when it the countdown's like in the evasion part, but that battle you kinda it was that way the whole time. You had to just do it. So I'm feeling a lot more confident about things. Let's go forward. Do I want to cure the burn I have? Ugh, I don't know. Like I don't mind. I might should eat something. We'll wait. Hmm. Shiorni prude? Prude? Prud? All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is the swamp. Probably gonna be gators around here. All right, what have we got? Red to yellow, kill a fellow. Red to black, venom black. What kind of snake are you? Well, looks like red to black, so he's not poisonous. But he's probably edible. Oh, and it's raining. Okay, I want to see if it tells us specifically about what type of snake that is. It would be like a milk snake, wouldn't it? Milk snake, yep. Not eaten yet. Taste unknown. Well, stamina's down a little bit. Eat it. Disgusting. Oh, pythons are good, but not milk snakes so much, eh? So the coral snake would be the red to yellow pattern. Oh. There we go. I used to be super into snakes when I was a kid. We begged my parents to let us have some, and my mom made the mistake of saying, well, if you catch one, you can keep it. So we caught a garter snake, and we got to keep it for one summer. We went and got, like, little baby toads from outside to feed to it, and we thought it was the most awesome thing. Okay, so there's a gator right there, but it looks like there's some goodies floating in the water by it. And it looks like we kind of have to traipse through here, right? Oh, is this a fish? Can we catch it? It's a frog. 
Kick it. Okay. Let's figure out, um, that's not what I meant to do. So, I was told I can knife things. Come here. Oh, I can just kick it. That worked. Alright, what do we got here? We got all kinds of goodies in the water. Red frog, get it! Oh, that's what I need to do. Use my regular attack button. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the crocodile alone. I kinda really wanna eat one, though. It's so big, though. Plus, I wanna know for sure if it's crocodile or gator. I should leave this alone. I should leave it alone. I'm not gonna leave it alone. Oh, it's getting... It's getting deep fast. We'll leave it alone. We'll look for a different one to eat. Because I really want to know if I can. Also, there's a part of me that... Because he comments on each thing if it was good or not... I need to know if, uh, if they're good eaten. There's a lot of those frogs around here. Yeah. I probably don't need this many frogs. Well, my stamina is down. Food full! Well, let's eat something. Poison dart frog. It seems like it would be a bad idea to eat it. Yep. Not really surprising, given that that's in its name, but I wanted to see what would happen. Well, not poison enough to uh, kill us, so... Well, it is chipping away, isn't it? What do we got here? Tangling with a gator! Oh, Can we kill it? Oh, look at all the food that gives. Okay. So, let's do something about the poison first. Whoops. First, let's hit the right buttons. Leech! Okay. So, we need to cigar that thing off. Do it. That was easy. Another leech. And it's the burn. Okay. Food poisoning. Contracted from eating naturally poisonous food. Poison dart frog. It was a bad idea. Uh, antidote. And that's medicine, right? Right. There we go. I'm just gonna leave the burn. It'll sort itself out. Okay. So then. Yeah, let's eat one of these. We haven't yet. Sick. <laughs> Not good, and they don't do much for us. All right, what about this oyster mushroom? Ugh, it was rotten. Oh, great. Otten frog. Ugh, it's rotten. Whoops. Is there is there somewhere that says, and I'm just eating all this rotten food, and I could avoid it? Oh yeah, it's got like flies on it. All right, well, we need to get rid of that. Okay, yeah, this one's super rotten. Two flies. This one's just a little rotten. I still don't want it. This one we don't want to eat again. Frog was pretty tasty. Oh, coral snakes! Okay, so we've got milk and coral snakes here. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I have a feeling this one's gonna cause... Is it gonna cause poisoning? The poison dart frog makes sense, because... I don't think... It doesn't, like, inject poison. It's just poison to eat. But the coral snake, I think it's... It's not like it's... 
completely toxic itself. It's just more if it bites you, it's got poison it'll inject you with. We're going to try eating it the next time we get hungry. In the meantime. Okay, we also need to... Ugh, poisoned again, yeah. Okay, we'll decrease until cure. So this is not going to take care of itself. Okay. Oh, digest. Dang it, I just wasted an antidote. There. Does your tummy ache feel better, Snake? Oh, and I wanted to check, um... Indian gay veal. Mm. Oh, yeah, I should have called people while I... I wasn't even thinking. I should have called while I had, like, my stomach ache and my food poisoning and everything else. How's it going, paramedic? Wow, you caught a coral snake. I did indeed. The coral snake is a venomous snake that originally hails from the Americas. So what's it doing it's here in venom Russia? It's a very potent neurotoxin, so don't let it bite you. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use cure to neutralize the poison with a serum injection. The colorful red and black patterns on the coral snake are a warning sign. Apparently, the bright flashy colors and pattern let other animals know that it carries a deadly poison that keeps them from attacking. There are many animals that mimic the like colors the of known snake. poisonous animals as a defense. See, by mimicking other poisonous creatures, they increase their chances of survival. There is another non-poisonous snake called the milk snake that borrows its coloring from the coral snake. Uh-huh. You're not even listening, He doesn't you? care. No. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about something you're interested in then. How do they taste? The taste? Yes. It says here that coral snakes are pretty good in a snaky kind of way. A snaky kind of way, huh? Hmm. Alright, what else you got to say? I see you've captured an Indian gavial. I have. I'm rather I'm proud of myself for that. The Indian gavial is a crocodile, crocodile okay. that originally lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? Yeah. They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. No throwing them at my enemies, huh? So, how do they... Taste? Yes, I did look into that. You know what they always say. Tastes like chicken. Sounds delicious. But be careful when capturing an Indian gavial. Normally they're cowardly creatures, but the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently they attack humans. Yep, I've what seen that. Mean? They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. Really, or is that just something within the game? I don't know enough about the area to know. That area is inhabited by the milk snake. Tell me all about it. The milk snake closely resembles the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Even so, you'll still take damage if it bites you, so don't get too close. Hmm. So is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? Glad you asked. Yes, there it's is. It's difficult. They really do look almost exactly No, the color alike. pattern's different. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake is much less aggressive. Okay. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. What? Eat it. Eat it? <laughs> yeah. The guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? Yeah. It doesn't, does it? Shoot, I thought I had a good idea. No. <laughs> Grumbles about it. No, but seriously, it's the it's the pattern that the color is in. They're all they're both red, black, and yellow. But if it's red to black, it's a milk snake. And if it's red to yellow, it's a coral snake. That's how you know. Okay. Okay, we need to figure out where to go from here. And stop messing with all the... It's so hard when I see an animal in front of me, though. I just want to catch it. And eat it. I don't think this was a poison dart. Okay. Mm, okay, so... It looks like wherever I go, the water gets deep. We can swim now. Alright, let's go for it. 
just swimming through the swamp with all the leeches and the crocodiles. What is that? Oh, it's another of those gabiels. Okay. We'll just leave them be. Not really a need. I, I got the one. I can eat it. I don't really need to mess with them more than that. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh. I want to look at that, that uniform. I do, but... I don't want to take the whole episode just looking at each new thing I get in my inventory. Although I am excited about all these things. I like the, the foraging around part too. I like finding different animals to eat. Is there like a guide? Not really. If there were if there were a guide like of all the animals possible and you fill in information about them as you find and eat each one, yeah, I would totally do that. Okay, so this is one way we can go, but... I just want to swim around a little bit more and see if we have other options. Ooh, we got some stuff over here. Alright. There's another crocodile, I think. Yeah, right there. And this looks just a little... I don't think we can climb up there. Too high. Okay. Oh. Hey, buddy. I'm not messing with you. We can leave each other alone. It's just fine. I'm just gonna cut right through the middle of ya. No need to smack me with your tail. Can I climb that tree? No. If I put on my thermal goggles, then I could see where all the gavials are in here. But I don't think I need to. I can, I've been spotting them well enough just with the naked eye. I think I'll be alright. Okay. Yeah, this is blocked off. There's no going through there. What I should really do make use of the map. Yeah, it looks like that's that's where I came from, that's where I want to go. This is kind of a sort of big area. There's a fish. Get it! I can't. Oh wow, my stamina's going way down. Maybe because I'm swimming so much in the rain. Alright. Try out some Gaviel. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, and then this is back to where I started. So. That's a red one. We're gonna leave it alone. It's poison dart. And let's swim to where we need to go. That's enough messing around in the swamp. Be bad. Let's do it. Pretty tasty. Man, snakes seem to give the tasty snakes a lot of uh, stamina recovery.
Alright, moving on. Huh? Snake, are you there? I am. Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. Good. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Well, yeah, pretty much. Why do you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes. In a small rural town. Yeah, so how could you betray your country? I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Now tell me. Try me. I saw the universe. What does that mean? The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. What? People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position. A difference of perspective. Okay. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. So what, have you found the truth Where's being the truth, here? then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to. Even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. Okay, I will be calling her for sure. Her argument's kind of problematic, though. So she says everything that she was taught was a lie, but... What? So she's... She, she decided that she... I don't know. She lost some kind of faith in America. All right. But what makes Russia better? I don't know. I guess I feel like there's... America's... I'm sure we're not... I know. We're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. We're a flawed nation just as every nation is. But every nation is. So it's not like you're going to find something better somewhere else. Why Why turn to what at this point in history is America's enemy to someone who's trying to like actively defeat America? Why? Her reasoning isn't... It's not enough right now. It's not strong enough. She's got to give us more than that. Oh, those are mushrooms. I'm not too worried about those. This looks like a tripwire or something. I don't trust it. Okay, put your knife back on. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to bother with mushrooms because... Ooh, Bolshaya passed south. I'm not going to bother with the mushrooms because they don't taste that good. They don't really give me that much stamina. And if I don't pay close enough attention, which I'll admit I might not, I'm going to end up eating a bunch of rotten ones. So we'll focus on different sorts of food. Hmm. These are not climbable vines. So how are we going to get by this snake? Barbed wire, you can't just slice it. Even though I'll try. Yep, oh, it looks like maybe crawl under here. Path seems kind of low. Give her a shot. Okay, but if we're in a barbed wire area then that means we might run across patrols soon, I'm thinking. Hmm. 
Okay, so is that a sign that I need to put on the mine detector? <gasps> oh my gosh, I think I forgot to grab it. Yeah, I forgot to grab it. Well. Oops. I'll have to go back and get that sometime. Not right now. I want to keep an eye on this barrier, too, to see if... Well, let's just look at the map. You got a map, Lavinia. Use it. There might be a way out over here, but it's not looking so much like that right now. Okay, we can get up a little bit. Okay, we're hungry, and there's a dog over there. Okay, let's eat. all the way off. I assume, yeah, good. He doesn't like it as well as the snake, but it'll do. <gasps> okay, in hindsight, that was really stupid of me. Right into that. That was so dumb. I thought I was gonna pick it up. <laughs> so while we're letting the caution meter wind down, I'm sure we're gonna run again into Revolver Ocelot. I'm actually really enjoying, really enjoying seeing him and our interactions with him. If there were a game that were about like, from Young Ocelot's perspective, I would totally play that. I wonder in a way if that kind of is, sort of, what this game is. Because even though we're playing as Snake, we are getting a lot of Ocelot and character development from him. I mean, I love the first time we see him, we, we call him out for it. He's going, you should be using a revolver. So next time we see him, oh, he's got the revolver. He, he took Snake's advice to heart. And then this time, that's a flashy gun. That's not made for shooting people. I... I have no doubt the next time we see that man, he's going to have a different revolver that's much less flashy. flashy. We're shaping who he's going to become. Plus, I really liked the scene where his own people got attacked, and he was all, he was obviously quite upset about that. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm thinking, wasn't there something? Was it in one or two? No, it was in two. Where someone was calling him out for betraying them or whatever, and how could you betray Russia? And he seemed to think that maybe he'd already been betrayed. I think this is this seems to me like a lot of where his kind of being a sort of lone wolf sort of rogue guy just for himself starts. Where I think at this point with the before before his own comrades were blown up, he seems like the kind of guy who really is devoted to his nation. And maybe that's maybe I wonder if that's a theme in this too between him and Snake, like, it, obviously it keeps hinting that we're going to have to make some kind of choice about do we trust our nation, what are we fighting for, and so maybe we'll be exploring that thought with both of them. Um, but it seems before that that he was just happy being the highly competent, flashy leader of the Ocelot squad. Like, he's pretty, pretty confident in himself, feeling good about it, secure, this is who I am, this is who I do, I'm fighting for my country. And then that happened, and I think that probably really shook him quite a lot. Because his country is supposed to look out for all of his countrymen, right? We're not supposed to do things like that. We're not supposed to sacrifice our people. And so I think that's where it's, it's really starting for something for him. It, it, it was a betrayal to him. And it's really interesting in his interactions with Snake that instead of just discounting anything Snake says, like, oh, you, you're an American, who cares if you don't like the type of gun I, th I use or whatever else, he he is listening to us. He he seems to, to a degree, he wants Snake to approve. Wow, our stamina's going down, like, super fast now. Unable to locate the problem. Understood. Return to your position. So I'm really interested to see where Ocelot comes out in the end of all this. Um, yeah, I need to, I need to find a lot more food. 
Okay, stomach's growling, so let's eat something. What can I say? Alright. Up we go. Aha, I see you. Holy cow, is that loud. This is HQ. Patrol here. I should have just left it alone. Commence alert formation. Okay, where are they? Oh, they're on the other side of the barbed wire. Hmm. How concerned am I about that? Okay, so that's a bomb, right? Just leave it alone. I'm used to the square-shaped things on the ground being goodies that I can pick up, not things that will explode me. Oh, that's not a climbing vine. I thought it was. Huh. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Snake, you are so hungry, man. Can't complain. Hmm. We gotta get some more food. Okay, there's a climbing tree, though. Oh, I bet that's how we get to the other side of the fence. Alright, we'll do it in a minute. We are not gonna set off this. Because it might just make a whole bunch more noise. Leave it alone for a minute. Alright. Any patrols on this side? I think we're good. Clearly, I did not see that one. Alright, we'll wait just a minute since this guy's like right there. Oh, he's our radio guy too. I gotta take him out. Keep him moving. Hmm. So, I've been eating everything else. Can I eat the dog? We'll see. Alright, I might shouldn't have done this because I am pretty exposed when I'm up in the tree. Alright, where's the... right there. And... okay, dog right there. Does not look like I get to eat them. Oh, fine. Go back. Yeah, go ahead. Commence your attack. I'm gonna be on this side of the barbed wire. What you gonna do about it? They don't know how to get to me over here. Oops. Okay, they can shoot at me <laughs> over here, so I guess I take that bet. Okay, we'll stay down till the alert's over. I just needed to move faster and shoot that second dog. Where 
They're getting real close, aren't they? Oh my gosh, and he's hungry again. Snake. Well, we gotta hope to find food in the next section. Side of the enemy. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Mm. There we go. Where'd he go? Where could he be? They're gonna find me by the sound of my growling belly. Oops. Missing a lot of shots here. Huh? I <laughs> they do they hear my stomach growling. There's nothing here. Oh, this guy's super close. Huh? I hear something. There. What that wasn't a headshot? Fall unconscious. Huh? There. Oh, I thought this was my trank gun. It's not. I killed him. Sorry, guy. Kind of. Where'd he go? Oh, whatever. Get up the tree. might be because my stamina is really low. I'm hungry and I'm getting the shakes. Okay. Alright, that's enough of this. Get up here. Close quarters combat! Okay, it would actually help if I hit him. Dog? You're going down too. Oh, I feel bad now kicking a dog. Yelps about it. Get back here. Ah, oh, you punk. It's a tough dog. Oh, this isn't a log I can climb in. Hmm. Alright. Well, we made it to this side. And we really need to get some food. Okay, probably also, um... Cure some stuff. What do we got here? Alright. Leech is easy. If I hit the right button. Oh. Not the knife. 
There. Burn. Burn. Another leech. Yeah, we better cure the burns. And a bandage. There we go. Alright, now then. Well, this is a cool little area. Shelter in the tree. Okay. Yeah, you're just seeing things. Don't worry about it. Dogs up now. Okay, up. Shoot. Hmm. All right. I don't look like I can just climb. I, they're gonna kill me, but that's okay. So, it doesn't look like this way is going to be particularly useful. We're going to need to go this way. Oh, oh, get- that's not going to help anything. Okay. this. I do want to call everybody. I think first we're going to go ahead and save. Snake, have you ever seen On the I Beach? haven't. No, I don't know it. It's about the survivors of the Third World War. The entire Northern Hemisphere is obliterated in a nuclear holocaust, and it's only a matter of time before the few survivors left in the Southern Hemisphere are poisoned by the deadly fallout. Their only hope is an American nuclear submarine that escapes to the Southern Hemisphere. They set out for the Arctic to investigate the fallout. The movie came out in 59, and the year that the war was supposed to happen was 1964. In other words, this year. Nice warning. Let's hope it stays just a movie. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. I expect to get to, through this next patch a little bit smoother. Got some feel for what we need to do, where we need to go. Um, I think the key thing is to first take out the dogs. And then maybe sneak up on the, the people, take them down. Yeah, I think it'll work out well.